Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, it's spooky season, and you know what that means. You might be seeing some more creatures out in the nighttime. There's heightened paranormal activity, and I've been instructed to make this video to tell you about the top five creatures of the night to look out for in Nanaimo this Halloween season. So come with me as we count down the top five <coughs> creatures of the night. Number one, the beaver, also known as Castor canadensis. Uh, you might not know it, but these lovable furry creatures are creatures of the night. They cut down trees, they build dams, they build lodges, and they're also ecosystem engineers, meaning that they promote biodiversity. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So next time you're walking around Buttertub's Marsh or somewhere else that's wet and boggy, keep your eyes and ears open for these creatures of the night. Pretty spooky. Number two. <clears throat> the black-eyed children. Legend has it, there's these little kids. They run around, they have black eyes. Uh, kind of like the black-eyed peas, but more scary. They, they run around, they'll beg you for food and other gifts and and then they go I don't know but I've heard they're pretty spooky and so you better watch out for them at nighttime the next creature of the night on our list of top five creatures of the night is um, bats ever heard of these guys bats they fly around they use echolocation really high-pitched screams they're talking with each other what are they saying Maybe they're saying, I have rabies. Did you know that rat, bats can carry rabies? Not that many, but if one scratches you, be careful and uh, contact your local public health authority and get the rabies vaccination. It only consists of six painful shots the first time and then th three more shots for the rest for, for over three weeks. Uh, so, so get your rabies vaccine and maybe make friends. They're probably n nice. They might just be misunderstood. They're also great pollinators. So we need bats and they also control insect populations. Good job, bats. You're probably wondering, you're probably thinking, hey Ben, what's the next creature of the night on this list of creatures of the night? Well, I'm about to tell you, that's the creature of the night number, uh, what are we at with? One, two, four, but we're not at four. We're at two, number two. <laughs> Moths, another flying creature, much like bats, moths, they fly around and they're attracted to light. And we don't really know why they're attracted to light. Some people suspect it has to do with them navigating by the moon and they're following the angle of the moon and then they get caught in the light, but well, that might not actually be it. But anyways, they get caught in the light and they're fluttering around. Woo, woo, woo. That's kind of spooky, isn't it? That's, the, that's, you might see those guys at nighttime. Okay, now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the final creature of the night. Drum roll, please. She lurks in the shadows. She, she lurks in dark crevices and uh, uh, nobody sees her. Can you guess what she is? That's right, my goth girlfriend. Uh, sh she is real. And I definitely have a goth girlfriend. He just goes to another school, that's all. Um, she, she lurks at night. And that's also why you can't see her, because she's nocturnal, much like a beaver or a bat or a, a, a black-eyed children or a moth. Uh, she lurks at night. But you might see her if you're out there, but probably not, because she's pretty sneaky. Thanks for watching these top five creatures of the night. What's your favorite creature of the night? Let me know down in the comments and keep your eyes open. Stay safe out there, everyone. Rudo run back and forth a bit. Oh yeah, okay. okay.